after 301 days, Nikki Bella's reign over the Divas Championship uh, in the Divas Division has finally fallen. Charlotte has beaten Nikki Bella for the Divas Championship Team PCB. You know, they, they set out on this goal uh, page basically for months, basically looked at it as someone needed to step up and help her fight the, Del the Bella. She wasn't going to be able to win this war three on one. Every time she was in a match and she had Nikki on the ropes, you know, it was Alicia or if it was Brie, somebody was coming in there and somebody was always, you know, you know, you know just getting the advantage to Nikki in this um, you know, this is how this whole thing got started with the Divas Revolution and everybody coming in uh, to the Divas Division with Becky Lynch, with Charlotte, with Sasha Banks, Team Bad, Team Bella, Team PCB. And uh, this was one hell of a match. This was one hell of a way to actually get this done. We all thought that Charlotte was going to win the Divas Championship on Monday Night Raw, ending Nikki's quest to break AJ Lee's record of uh, consecutive days with the uh, championship. Now I guess you can head on over to WWE Shop and buy your Nikki Bella plaque. Um, you know, numbered to our, you know, 301 days. She didn't get to make it all the way to the year. Honestly, in my mind, I, I would have made people wait just a little bit longer, add a few more days to that reign, um, you know, get a little bit of the dissension in Team, P T Team PCB. But I guess now, um, you know, now you're going to have Paige, you know, wondering when she's going to get a championship shot. She's happy um, that her buddy Charlotte got to win the championship and she was there and she got to be a part of it. But now the true competitive nature that's inside of her is going to want to come out, and she's going to want to get a piece of that championship as well. Um, but uh, we got, um, you know, a, a great match. Um, you know, Charlotte comes into this match. Uh, Nikki takes out her knee and attacks her leg throughout the whole match. She wraps her leg around the uh, outside, um, you know, ring post. Nikki, you know, wraps up and puts her in the figure four around it. You know, Charlotte is wailing in pain about the pain in her knee and her leg and you know we're, we're all wondering if the referee is uh, going to stop the match uh and basically give you know sort of uh, uh you know a saving grace to charlotte because you know she, the, the fight was really coming to her she was finding ways to you know you know get some offense in there but for the most part it was the bellas knocking them out and even at one point the bellas came close to getting uh disqualified with uh you know nikki bella putting the figure four on charlotte inside of the ring she reached back and she grabbed the ropes uh and uh you had team bella on the outside at that point team pcb came running around to break this up they only would have just waited and let the referee notice this um, Nikki would have been disqualified and the championship would have been handed out, but I guess Charlotte didn't want to win the belt that way. Team PCB didn't want to win the belt that way. Um, so, you know, Nikki Bella climbs at the top to deliver some sort of a double arm axe handle, I guess you can say is what she was going for. And Charlotte delivers one of the weakest spears of all time. It was almost like she didn't even do a spear. She just moved and put her shoulder in Nikki, and that was enough for her to wrap her up and put the figure eight on her, and uh, Nikki Bella was able to tap, and now Charlotte actually wins the championship, and Ric Flair can now say that his championship reign and his family has 17 world championships in it. Way to go, Team Flair.